You're listening to the Hour of the Time. I'm William Cooper. I don't want to do this broadcast tonight, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm sure that you all know why. I hate these kinds of things. My heart just goes just goes out to those parents who uh, will never see their children again. I've lost children, and I know what that feels like. It's a grief that you can't imagine. And it just never, never ever goes away. And it's even worse for me because I've known for many years that these things were going to happen, and I told you that. These are young men who were disassociated, cast out by their classmates, were undergoing some kind of professional mental health treatment during their life, and were probably on some kind of prescription drugs like Prozac or Ritalin. It's the same signature of all of these that have happened over the years, and they all take place at approximately the same time of year within a few Days or a week or two of April the 19th. The most significant incidents happen on April the 19th. Uh, you'll have to forgive me, folks, because uh, I'm just overcome with with the sadness and the terrible waste of all of this. And I feel the old grief of the loss of my children just well up in my chest and I wish with all my heart that there was something that I could do to make it all go away to uh, somehow turn back the clock and make it so it had not have happened and for those of you who may have been at work and don't know what's happened, I guess maybe I should explain. This morning, I got a uh, telephone call from someone in Littleton, Colorado, who told me something terrible was going on at a school called Columbine High School. And so I went to CNN, and there was nothing on CNN. And I began to call people in Colorado, and they didn't know anything about it. Then I got another call telling me that uh, gunmen had entered this high school and had just killed a tremendous number of people. And it set off numerous bombs. I went back to CNN, and then they began to cover it. And apparently, as of as of right now, please forgive me. As of right now, there are approximately twenty-five dead, give or take, because nobody knows the real number. Most of them just young boys and girls. From what I understand, maybe all of them. About 20 wounded had been taken to local hospitals. The, uh, the ones who wreaked all this havoc were young boys. They were either students or ex-students or had been expelled. And that's all I know about them except the other students say that they belonged to a group that uh, were shunned by most of the students in the school. They were uh, 
They were young people who obviously had mental problems. You know, I'm getting to the point where I really don't like this country or this world much anymore. I just told you last night that uh, some terrible catastrophe could happen within just a few days because of this April 19th thing, because of the the mystery school's penchant for human sacrifice in the, in the springtime, the rites of Ishtar, Moloch, and all of the rest of the old terrible gods. I told you they would all come back. You think this is coincidence that it happens every year, every single year, at the same time? When are you going to wake up? I spent most of my life trying to stop this ship. Just trying to stop it. And it's not going to stop. Because nobody will believe it. And I bet you Clinton is on television right this moment. Coming up with some reason why what happened in that high school has to strip the rest of us of some more of our rights. You want to bet? I'll bet you everything I own. That's exactly what he's doing. He's probably referred it to the Justice Department to come up with some more restrictions on the good citizens of this country. I'm just heartbroken. You see, as this new socialist world order is, is going through its birth pangs. I happen to know that millions of people are going to die because of it. 